Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashlips and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we have Jesse from CodeStacker. Jesse is an amazing dev and he teaches you about coding and also the latest updates. In today's episode, we're actually having a nice conversation about NFTs. So you've created an NFT collection, but what is next? Jesse, what do you think about this question? You know, you've, you've created a NFT collection, but now what? Now what is next? What's the next steps people should take? I, I think, I mean, it's a very difficult question because it really depends on your circumstances. But I think a lot of people think, well, let's just start raking in the cash. <laughs> and then like a lot of collections maybe don't think that far uh, down the road as far as like, what do I need to do next? And so when it comes to that point, they're kind of, uh, trying to figure it out. And, and I think a, a lot of collections, um, you know, we're all still trying to figure out the space. We're all still trying to figure out the, uh, the NFT space. And um, so there's no really right answer, but um, I don't know. What do you think about it? Well, I thought about it the five minutes I had before we started. <laughs> and uh, actually, you know, even though the question is what happens next, I guess we have to start with what happens before you have to um, you have to ask yourself that because if you think about it, most people start an NFT collection without really thinking about the crucial parts of it first, right? Um, they really see this um, big money shot, I guess, you know, because mm -hmm. I describe this NFT space as a casino, not so much a casino. Obviously, you have your casino dApps, but in the sense that people look at casinos with all the flashy lights and I think people think it's easy to just walk in there and uh, go mm -hmm. and win the, you know, the big prize. Mm -hmm. Now, it mm -hmm. doesn't mean that anyone out there cannot make a successful collection. It just means think through what you do, right? So in my opinion, I think people should really focus on the concept of the NFT first, whether it's an artwork, a utility token, whatever it might be start with spaces and start with getting your name out there first because if you if you think that you're going to just drop a collection and it's going to sell out chances of mm -hmm. that happening is very slim i mean you have a collection right and obviously you have a big following and what is your experience with the collection that you currently have yeah so it's it's really been a, an experiment um as far as you know basically what what i what i set up front to everyone was I don't know exactly how this is going to go. I don't really even care if they sell or not. I just want to experience this. I want to go through those steps of creating a collection, putting it on OpenSea and all of these different things. And, uh, and so the, so far the experience has been great because it is part of community building. So I think, like you said, going back is, is building that community from the beginning and then also having that vision of continuing to be in that community and for the long run, uh, you know, because it, like like for my collection for instance it's it hasn't sold out it's still it's still gradually selling and uh and that's okay with me because i'm gradually growing that community and those people that got in from the beginning of it they're really going to benefit because they've come along for the ride the thing is like even with the experiment you're doing right now where you say you know you don't care i also have those <laughs> those collections which i mm -hmm. did way in the beginning you know as these experiments mm -hmm. experiments before i truly um, did my artworks. And uh, this comes down to the question, you are trying it out, you're experimenting, but you have you don't have these expectations um, that kind of stresses you out, that, that, that kind of mm -hmm. uh, makes you have to make a success out of this, right? You know, for ever, anyone viewing this, you know, start mm -hmm. off with a collection and test the waters first, you know, so that you can get your feet wet. I don't know. Uh, this is weird advice, I guess, you know, uh, we can get to the part what happens next. But what, what do you think, JC? People need to know the space, right? They can't just jump in and yeah, yeah there's there's so much to it. There's so much to it. You you really have to to test things out, figure it out. You know, if you're, you're thinking you want to release a, a 10,000 uh, item collection, like maybe scale that back, maybe let's let's do 2000 or, or 2500 or, or 1000 or, or 100 even just go through the process and, and test it out and, and, and figure out, you know, exactly how that is gonna is gonna actually work out. Um, because trying to figure things out, as you go is much harder. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that, you know, testing things out for sure. And then, 
as far as like going into like what next, also thinking ahead, a lot of these collections have utility. And so if you can add some sort of utility, you know, that that is definitely helpful as well. Um, and then thinking, you're thinking long term, what is your collection going to to how is it going to benefit not only just, you know, growing monetarily, um, but also like how is it going to benefit people? What, what kind of utility can you provide them possibly? Utility is all over the place currently. Um, different collections have different flavors. You know, obviously in this game, you get uh, purely artistic collections where mm -hmm. artists come on board and they want to sell their art. But some collections tend to, the bigger ones, tend to create a community around them, right? So whenever you're starting a NFT collection, ev eventually there will be a following. Eventually there will be people who love the artworks, love the concept, and they want to do some stuff together. So really, mm -hmm. uh, to the question, you know, you've started your NFT collection, now what's next? Is sit and think about the future of where you want to see this NFT collection. I, I would say not not so much like what's next with marketing or what's next with the next week or the next month but really think about you know what's next in the next five years because nfts are going to be here and your collection is going to be here for that time and even longer so rather uh, ask yourself the question where do you where do you want to see yourself in five years with your nft collection and your community and i guess if you if you start asking those questions you'll start getting the right answers to those things. What networks you need to start setting up now? Um, what kind of collaborations? Who you want to collaborate with? Collaborations are great for NFT collections. So if you have an NFT collection that speaks towards another NFT collection's goals, you know, maybe talk to those uh, people and those individuals and maybe come up with some way of collaborating. It's a great way to give your audience a bigger exposure and uh, grow the nft collection together and that's what mm -hmm. i've personally found uh, works quite well and host spaces jc have, have you hosted twitter mm -hmm. spaces before i i haven't that's that's definitely something i need to learn from you <laughs> because yeah, you you do such a great job at that and that is something that uh that i definitely need to to figure out because i can see every time i join one of your spaces or, or someone else's spaces i see how well it works out and and it's just it's it's, it's part of the community building honestly so like you, you have to do that. And so, you know, look for some, some new Twitter spaces coming out very soon. Space will definitely be there. I think, I think that's um, the most powerful tool in the NFT space right now is uh, mm -hmm. Twitter spaces because it gives you a platform for you to actually explain your NFT collection. It's so hard to explain to someone the passion you have for your NFT over a website. So mm -hmm. I would say for, for people out there with collections, Really go ahead and find someone if you don't want, like talking yourself or you're scared. Find someone who can who can speak on your behalf about your collection and have spaces. Have that person talk about your NFT collection. Bring people up on your space. Even if there's two, three people in the stage, it's worth it because those people will understand your collection better. And if someone asks them about you, they'll get to communicate that uh, on your behalf too. So I find that... Mm -hmm. By hosting spaces, you really open up to a broader audience and it, you know, it's like cycling. So you might see there's 50 people in a space at any given time, but by the time the space is over, thousands of people might have circulated through that space, depending on mm -hmm. who you're hosting it with, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then as people share it and it just, it just kind of snowballs from there. Uh, that's, that's what I've seen. So, uh, yeah, I have to definitely get into that. What about, um, so like you, you've, you've launched your collection, it's going well. And, and what if you want to create another collection? What if you want, like, how do you move on from there? And it's not really moving on because you can't, you don't want to feel like you're abandoning, abandoning your first collection, but what if you want to create another collection or another collection? Like, what do you do at that point? Oh man, that, you know, that was for me the toughest thing to do because I also uh, sat in that scenario where I, I created a collection which was Hashlip's way in the beginning. And then I felt so passionate about the project. I didn't want to move on. I didn't want to do anything else because I wanted it to succeed. Um, but at the end of the day, it all depends on what your NFT collection is about. For instance, mine is mostly about artworks. So yes, even though I have like a 
10,000 collection of this and 5,000 of that and 2,000 of this. Um, I think it's all up to the individual, right? This is a free space. You can create what you want. If you have the funds to deploy a contract and people love what you do, um, no yeah. one's forced to buy any NFTs. You know, you can bring out yeah. NFTs as much as you like. So I guess yeah. that's a that's a tough one. It's a personal one because you yeah. you kind of need to have the need to make a new one for a reason, mm -hmm. not just because because right. Otherwise, right, um, right. that would just be trying trying dipping your toes. But I do have some uh, important advice for individuals who have started collections and it's not going tremendously well, and they really want to flourish in the space. Is that at some point, if an NFT collection does not do what you thought it's going to do, maybe the artworks weren't, you know, the best. Maybe the artist you got um, dropped you or whatever the case might be. Don't feel discouraged to leave the um, NFT collection where it is and start a new one. But then take your holders, if you're not going to continue with the old one, and give a way for them to claim an NFT in your new collection. Because yeah. there's nothing worse than trying to get trying to make something work that never will kick off and then sticking with that for 20 years, whereas you might have just done something different um, and it might have been a success. Or the alternative mm -hmm. is relook at what you are doing and maybe pivot, but with your current collection. Um, I think that that's the hardest part is is launching a collection. It doesn't do well and you don't know what to do. Um, and, and then again, it goes back to the community, just communicate as much as possible with the community, get their feedback. Sometimes somebody in the community will have a great idea and that will help you out as well. And so, you know, just, just bring them along for the ride and whatever it is that you're doing. So how about we, uh, let's, let's end this with a few pointers that, uh, we can help, help the audience out, you know, before launching and then after launching a collection. You know, there is no rule that any, anyone should follow. But something that's very important point-wise, before you start your collection, number one, know what the blockchain is. Number two, choose the correct blockchain. And number three, do marketing. That is kind of really, really important when you start off. Do enough marketing, build the communities, and then launch your collection. If you find that the collection is doing slow or going a bit, um, you know, not as expected, do a bit more marketing or try and change the idea. Maybe ask around in the community, like Jesse mentioned. The community has great value and you know we all are fantastic individuals and you sometimes might have great minds sitting in the community, in the audience. So reach out and find out from those audience members, the collectors, what do they think? Now, um, point number, the last point, point number last <laughs> is, <laughs> Don't get discouraged. Um, I see this all the time. People get discouraged. They leave the space. They feel like they failed. Now, you have never failed unless you quit. And um, to the point, you know, up until the point where you quit, you haven't failed. You just literally are trying something out, you know. And like we said, if something is really not going well and you feel like it's a fail of a project, start a new one, especially if, um, you can communicate that to your users and your audience and you can convert them over to your new token. Don't do stuff like rug pulls. Don't promise mm. people, um, you know, the world and then go and just leave. That will get you in jail because uh, that's not cool, first of all. Um, mm. But yeah, just be, a, just be a good, I would say, a leader to a project and believe in your project. And you need to ask yourself this question, and I want to end off with this, would you buy your NFT? And if that answer is yes, then it's a idea worth fighting for and going for. So then don't give mm -hmm. up. If, they are, if the answer to that question is yes, I would say don't stop until you've made it a success. I don't think there's oh, anything I, I could add to that. That's great advice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, I hope so. It's, it's difficult giving advice, you know. Um, yeah. Seeing that we all also it's so new we all are trying you mm. just said you're experimenting with your collection um i'm still trying you know things out with our community see what works best because mm. i guess um we are in this infancy state where we get to kind of drive where this um where this community and the, this whole space is going so i think it's, mm. it's very important for us to just keep that in mind as well 
and not be discouraged when stuff doesn't go well um, and try and fix it on the spot. You know, there's always an answer, I believe. It's all part of the learning process. Like, like I said, this is it, it, the whole space is in its infancy. And so we're all still learning. And so we're all failing, all of us, every one of us. Uh, but like you said, you, you, you don't actually fail unless you quit. So a, as things come along, you just learn from it and move on and, and improve. That's the only that's the best way to improve. So. Yeah, and, and you'll be surprised, you know, um, you see some collections that just doesn't do anything for a while. You know, and a while in this space is not a very long time mm -hmm. because in this space, a week feels like a year. But you sometimes see collections and then all of a sudden it takes off with a tremendous speed because there was eyes on it. And the best way of creating that is by telling people about it in spaces. Mm -hmm. And if mm -hmm. you don't know how to host them, then jump on someone's space. Come and join my space and JC's space if he starts hosting it and mm -hmm. talk about your project. Um, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that that is how everyone can start building up a following for their NFT collections and building up a great community with that, you know. This, is, uh, this has been a great chat. I really appreciate you having me on. Jesse, it was amazing. I mm -hmm. uh, just want to thank you again uh, for doing this. I hope everyone uh, watching now goes and follows Jesse's channel. Go and learn more about coding. You know, coding is the future, especially Web3. And JC is doing more and more videos on Web3. So you'll learn a ton. If you want to learn how to do NFT collections, come and follow my channel. But apart from that, I hope everyone is having an amazing day. Until next time, I will see you again.